my journey as a rodeo cowboy, you know, it started when I was young because my brothers did it, my dad did it. It's something that, you know, all my friends, we all grew up doing the same thing and, you know, planned on doing the same thing. We knew when we were, you know, kids that we were gonna rope for a living. We stay pretty busy going to rodeos around here and also there's a lot of jackpots and now the kids are getting old enough so now they go to rodeos too. So we spend a lot of time on the road on the weekends. Traveling with all the rodeos and the ropings around here in California, you know, we drive from, you know, two to six hours, you know, seven or eight hours. It's a crazy game because when you're doing it full time on the, you know, on kind of the pro scale, yeah, you're out there, I mean, 24 seven. A lot of horses, good rigs, and a pretty good pocketbook. That or you better win all the time. In the past years, we couldn't all go together, so I would just take a truck and a stock trailer and go up there and sleep in a bedroll maybe or get a motel room. Now, we all get to go together. Like I said, we take barbecues, we hang out. We enjoy going to places and staying the whole time. teaches the kids how to rope and how to ride or anything around the horse. He has the most patience. Um, so the kids respond well to that. One week, it was six deep in a dodge to win. As soon as we got the coach and the motor home, then the next week it's like we got board shorts on and hanging out at the ocean. Where now, we go on little mini vacations every week. Having the kids be able to travel with Kyle and I when we go to rodeos, since we've got this coach, has changed the way that our life goes. This has allowed um, all of us to be here, to cook, um, for the kids to play, make a sandwich while you're driving down the road. Um, it's just been amazing. Uh, the times I've been to the Cummins shops, uh, nice places, big, clean, Walk in there, there's a lot of people there. They definitely first wanted to help you. They've gotten my rigs in fast. They've done good work and was out of there quick. I've been a Cummings guy forever and I trust their motors as much as I trust their people. Right, you see the Necro was still on the steer? Right there. I mean, it was close, but it's 10 seconds worth. They got that one tonight. <laughs> Kyle Lockett's got more range on the healing than most headers do. Wow.